Hey guys, Churchy here. So Skyrim Anniversary Edition released recently and with it came a lot of Creation Club content. In this video, I want to show you a way you can take advantage of the Golden Hills Farm, which is one of the locations they added. With the right ingredients and a clever bit of alchemy, you can use it to set yourself up with a way to make an infinite amount of gold within about 30 minutes of starting a new character. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let's get to it. So here you are at the cave just outside Helgen after completing the introduction. Make your way to Riverwood, grab some more Atapanala on the way and also activate the Feath Standing Stone. You only need one more for this to work, but the more you find the better. Now that you've made it to Riverwood, quickly talk to Alva about the dragon attack at Helgen and then ask him for assistance. Take all of his items and then sell him some stuff, then stop by the merchant and sell a few more things there. You're only doing this to cover the costs of hiring a carriage to Windhelm and then Riften, so you only need 40 gold total. So once you have that, just move on towards Whiterun. So make your way down to the White Run stables and grab any more you find on the way, then hire the carriage and travel to Windhelm. Make sure you actually discover the White Run Stables location. You'll need to fast travel back here later. Now that you've made it to Windhelm, take the road leading south, and on your left, you'll see a map marker for Kynesgrove. Just after the road branches, if you look to your right, you can find a bunch of creep clusters to harvest. Harvest the creep clusters, fast travel back to the Windhelm Stables, and then hire a carriage to take you to Riften. Now that you've arrived in Riften, head north along the road and make your way past the watchtowers. You'll see a tree stump ahead of you. On that stump you can find some scaly foliota, harvest it and then head north with a slight northwest bearing and you can find some more stumps and logs with scaly foliota on them. Now turn around and head back towards Riften, but make your way east towards the mountain slopes on your way back, and once again you can find some more logs and stumps with scaly foliota. Just east of the watchtowers you can find a slope with a shrine of Zenithar guarded by a frostbite spider. On the shrine you can find an amulet of Zenithar, which can be nice to have because it improves prices by 10%. The frostbite spider can be pretty tough for a level 1 character, so you might need to lure it into the guards near the watchtowers. Once you're out of combat, fast travel to the White Run stables.
Now that you've made it back to the White Run stables, steal a horse and enjoy a scenic ride west across the tundra. Golden Hills Farm is near Rorikstead, and a good indicator that you're close is the Jukar Monument. Once you get near the monument, you should see the farm icon on the compass, and it's just over the next rise. When you arrive at the farm, a ghost will attack you and a quest will begin. Complete the short quest and the farm will be yours. Now that you've got yourself a farm, it's time to plant some ingredients and make a lot of money with alchemy. The Golden Hills farm has a total of 44 plantable plots for ingredients. The larger area has 27 plots, and in this area you want to plant 13 Mora Tapinella, 7 Creep Cluster, and 7 Scaly Foliota. In the smaller area, you want to plant 5 Mora Tapinella, three creep cluster and three scaly foliota. You can also craft some planters for your farmhouse, which provide you with an additional six plots. In these plots, plant two more tapanella, two creep cluster and two scaly foliota. You'll need two firewood and three quarried stone to build them. When you first put a plant in a plot, it takes one day to grow and will then take three days to grow after that. Once you've filled all the plots, in total you'll have 20 more tapanella plants, 12 creep cluster plants and 12 scaly foliota plants. Realistically, you can put the plants in whatever plots you want to, but I did a layout which will let me easily put different plants in the smaller area or planters later on while still keeping an area to farm more scaly and creep. Realistically, you also don't have to have this many of each plant. You can only use one area if you want to. I'm just showing you the full potential of what you can do with it. So when you harvest a Mora Tapanella plant, it provides three Mora Tapanella. And when you harvest a Creep Cluster or Scaly Foliota, they'll provide you with five plants. So when you harvest all of the plants you've planted, you'll get 60 of each plant to use as ingredients. Mora Tapanella, Creep Cluster and Scaly Foliota combine to make the most expensive potion that you can create from plantable ingredients. And now you can make 60 of them with every harvest. If you invest more points on the alchemy tree and also on the speech tree, the value of your potions will increase and on top of that you'll be able to sell them for even more gold.
A really handy perk to get on the speech tree is the merchant perk because it allows you to sell your potions to any merchant which means you can buy whatever you want and then sell potions to get your gold back after your purchase. While it wasn't the focus of this video, another really cool thing about the Golden Hills farm that's worth mentioning is that it's actually a pretty nice play home once you build all the extras, and it also generates you income. Just talk to your farm steward for a little bit of extra cash. So that's it for this video, now you have a way to generate infinite gold within about 30 minutes of starting a new character, and on top of that you've got a nice place to live. This guide has basically been an update or alternative to part one of my Skyrim Like a Boss series, but that video does still have a few handy tips, and if you're really keen, you can follow it and set up another moneymaker using the same plans. After watching this anniversary video, you can also potentially skip part one and go straight to part two and part three of the Skyrim Like a Boss series. Part two shows you how to max your crafting skills, and part three will show you how to basically become a god with full Daedric armor, powerful enchantments, and 100% magic resistance. All of those videos also follow the same idea of this video, just in terms of trying to set yourself up to be extremely powerful and rich very quickly. Thank you to the legends supporting me on Patreon. I couldn't be doing this sort of thing without your support, and I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Have a good day or night, whichever it may be, and I'll see you in the next video.